You see, the biggest excuse that I hear utilized on a daily basis is I don't have fucking time. People just live by this statement of not having time. I understand why you utilize it as a crutch. I understand why you utilize it as a reason or an excuse. But at the end of the day, you also need to realize that if you want to transform your life, if you don't like how you look in the mirror, if you don't like how your bank account looks, if you don't like the state of your relationship, you're going to have to make time to fix the situation. There's no other way to do it. There is 1,440 minutes in one day. Remember that number. For all of you guys that say you don't have fucking time, I want you to think about numbers for a second. There is 1,440 minutes in one day. Let's say you guys only waste 10 minutes a day scrolling on Instagram or watching shows. Well, 10 minutes times 365 days a year equals 3,650 minutes. Divided by 1,440, that gives you 2.5 days of wasted space. I think it would be safe to say that most people waste between one and five hours a day between scrolling on their phone, sitting on the toilet for too long, watching shows when they get home from work, scrolling on their phone while they're eating a meal, which makes their meal last an extra fucking 45 minutes. So let's average it out. Let's say you guys just waste 60 minutes a day. So 60 minutes times 365 days a year equals 21,900 minutes divided by 1,440. That is 15 extra days a year. And that's only an hour a day. I need you to make an internal and internal fucking shift. And that shift needs to be you looking at yourself in the fucking eyes, either in your phone camera or in a mirror or in a reflection. You have to see yourself in the eyes and you need to say personally to yourself, I will get out of my own way. That's the only way this shit's gonna work. There's five keys to becoming a master of your time. And the first one is understanding that clarity is power. How do we achieve clarity and what does that mean? Well, Sundays is where I achieve my clarity and that's because I use Sundays for goal setting. I set aside one hour every single Sunday to set my fucking goals, to dive into the most important things I need to do in order to achieve my dream life. I dive into my purpose, my vision, my actions, and more. It's a very simple framework called review and do. I sit down, I look at my goals, I look at what I wanted to achieve, I look at what I wanted to do for meals and workouts and water and for Julia and for my baby and for Daniel and my businesses and my gym and for myself. I look at all the goals that I have and then I ask myself, what did I do well? What did I not do well? How can I improve? Or how can I do it again? If you guys don't have clarity, you won't have power. The second key is organizing your priorities. If you want to become a master of your time, you need to make a list of the most important tasks that align with your goals that you set on Sunday and then dive into them. This is where the goal is. Once you have clarity on your vision, you need to align your actions with that vision. Each week, we bring a different set of actions towards what we want to achieve. Imagine you're an evil genius in a movie and you guys have your action item, the list. That's how you should think about your fitness goals, your business goals, your mindset goals, your social media goals, your relationship goals. Like sit down and create your list, make a list of all the most important things that you need to do and then diligently take one step forward achieving those goals every single day. Mine are very simple. Wake up 3 a.m., do a cold shower, affirmations, gratefuls, meditation, 5% list, gym, Cardio, content plan. This is how you guys start becoming a master of your fucking time. Make a list of all the most important things that you need to do throughout the week, then organize them based on the day, plan your week in advance on Sunday so you have clarity in your vision and you've devised a game plan in order to achieve it. Number three, combine that strategy with your morning to-do list. What you wanna do is you wanna set timers for all of your scheduled events because all of these systems that I'm gonna be breaking down today work in sync, they work in unison. 
They all work together to help you become a master of your time, help you stop saying the fucking statement of, I don't have time, that's why I'm fat, that's why I'm broke. No, you don't have time because you are lazy. Most people spend too much time doing little tasks. You're back from your regular job and you're at home and you know you need to do laundry, you know you need to meal prep, you know you need to go to the gym, and you know you need to do something in order to start working on your passion so you can make more money and get out of your situation. Two things you wanna do. Number one, set a timer for each of those tasks, and number two, set an alarm that goes off five minutes before the tasks actually start. Why? Because when you set a timer beforehand, you are prepared for the next thing, and when you set a timer slash length of time that is dedicated to the task, you work 10 times harder. When I do a workout, I try to get my workout done in 50 to 65 minutes. I'm dedicated, my headphones are in, I'm not fucking talking to anybody, I am focused on the task at hand. Doesn't mean I don't like you if you're in the gym, it just means I got shit to do. Number four is utilize do not disturb in airplane mode. Focused work sessions. Because again, let's say you set a timer. You set a timer on your phone for 45 minutes, and during that 45 minutes, you're gonna get into the gym, you're gonna bust your ass, you're gonna work as hard as you can, and you're gonna crush that workout. But then what ends up happening? In between sets, you're scrolling. So you're doing all these things when you should be fucking training. I don't answer my fucking phone when I'm doing a certain job. I don't answer my texts, I don't answer my phone calls, I don't answer the Facebook messages I get, I don't answer any DMs, I don't scroll Instagram, I am focused on the fucking job at hand. And last but not least, this one's important. This one honestly kind of goes against a lot of the shit that I say, but I need you to understand it. The fifth thing that you need to do in order to become a master of your time is take time off. This is extremely important for individuals who also have significant others. Or you guys who say you experience burnout or you're exhausted or you're sick of working or you can't stand what you're doing anymore. Building a successful online business or bettering your life in general takes time. It is a marathon, not a sprint. Understand that you guys usually drastically overestimate what you can do in a year, but you drastically underestimate what you can do in 10 years. So learn that taking time off isn't the end of the world. There's gonna be two types of people that work on holidays or that operate on holidays. There's gonna be the people that get work done anyways, regardless of the fact that it says holiday on the calendar. And there's gonna be people that take time off because they wanted a break, even though they're not working in the first place. If you're putting the work in, you're grinding 12 to 14 hours a day, you look fit as fuck, you're providing for your family, you're pulling in big money, you wanna take a day off, by all means. But if you're grinding, grinding I'm gonna use quotes right now you're not fit you don't look good you're not there for your family you're really not making any fucking money do you think you deserve a day off the fifth point is take a day off but I'm speaking to the individuals that are grinding the faces off right now you guys have your life to build a successful business you have your life to transform your situation so as long as you are putting the fucking work in day in and day out leaving everything everything on the table 120%, then understand a day off on the weekend isn't gonna hurt you. Sundays are for goal setting. Set aside two hours on your Sunday for your goals so you can create clarity in what you need to achieve. Then make a plan of action. Make a list of the most important tasks that align with your goals so you can actually achieve them. Get work done in less time with intentional work sessions. Take back your mental space by setting timers and durations for all of your work sessions while on airplane and do not disturb mode. And the last but not least, number five, set boundaries for your work time. Take time off, and when you are working, give 125%, 150%, 200% of your actual effort so you feel like you earn the time off. We're here to change the fucking narrative now. That's not gonna happen without hard work. That's not gonna happen with you consistently making excuses and justifications due to how your life currently looks. Responsibility is everything. Take responsibility, get out of your own fucking way, and step it the fuck up. Enough is enough. 
I didn't want to be like everybody else. I wanted to be the fucking best at everything I did. I want to be remembered forever. And in order for that to happen, I realized I needed to act like it. Because being an average human being, being a sheep like the rest, isn't going to get me there. This is something you all need to understand. If you want to be the best in whatever you do, you got to start acting different than everybody else. If you want the nicest car, if you want to live in the nicest neighborhood, if you want the nicest clothes, the nicest jewelry, the nicest partner, the best of everything comes with a price. It comes from grinding through those late nights. It comes from grinding through those early mornings. It comes from those exhausting days where every fiber of your body is telling you to give up. If you want to separate yourself from other people in the world, you got to start acting differently. And it starts with taking responsibility for your life. You see, every day you are presented with two paths. One path leads to your true potential. It leads to that first class ticket. It leads to that fancy car. It leads to that fancy house. It leads to those dreams you have every single night when you close your f***ing eyes. And the other path is you staying the same. You see, most of you are stuck on the path of staying the same because you don't understand how to take responsibility for what is happening in your life. It's not that you don't want everything that comes with the path that leads to your true potential, but you are too hung up on blaming the past and the present. You are too hung up on blaming your mom for how she treated you when you were younger. You are too hung up on blaming your teachers for how they spoke to you. You're too hung up with anything that happened to you years ago. I'm not trying to discredit your pain, but you gotta let that go. And because of that, you aren't able to appreciate the strength and power you have today. You aren't able to step into that power because you are choosing to justify excuses every single time you open your eyes. It's time to take responsibility. Understand that you are in control of how you feel every day. What you do every day. How you act every day. So don't get it twisted. The excuse that these outside sources control how you feel, what you do and how you act, is just a justification that has been drilled into your head since you were younger. Break out of it. Understand that we have the power to change our lives. Stop putting the power in other people's hands by blaming them for your current situation. Take that back. Choose to shift the trajectory of your life so you can live up to your true potential. The King Eric Thomas said it best. Everybody wants to be a beast until it's time to do what beasts do. Guess what? Beasts don't sleep in every day. They understand that they need to sacrifice sleep in order to be successful. Beasts don't binge watch Netflix. When they want to change their life, they utilize that time to take action. Beasts don't blame the past for where they are in the present. They utilize that pain as a f***ing lesson so they can see more success in the future. Embrace self-discipline. Stop trading short-term pleasure for long-term gains. Choose to make decisions that are gonna benefit your life every day. Take control of your life so you can separate yourself from the masses. Choose to be the absolute best version of yourself and walk down the path that leads to you achieving your true potential. You got this, let's go. Stop making excuses around your current situation. Take responsibility for your life be your own goddamn cheerleader and take action. If you look at your life right now and you are unhappy with what you see in the mirror, if you're unhappy with what you see in your bank account, if you're unhappy with how your house looks, your living situation, the job that you fucking have, it is not because you don't have a support system that you haven't been able to change. It's because you haven't taken action in the first place in order to change at all. Wake the f*** up. 
You do not need a cheerleader in your corner. Be your own. And no, I'm not talking about the pom-poms and all that bullshit. You do not need a support system to motivate you into changing your own life. If you don't like what you see in the fucking mirror, then look at it every single day until it pushes you to change. If you don't like your current job and how much money you make, go lick your bank account every single day until it motivates you to change. You do not need somebody patting you on the fucking butt telling you that you're gonna be something in this life in order to be something in this life. Stop looking outwards for that validation and start looking internally. Validate your own success. You don't need somebody to tell you that you did a good fucking job. Get to work, start changing your life. And one of the main excuses I hear for why people don't start working towards their goals in the first place is their lack of support. And I get it. Trust me, I get it. I know what it's like to have individuals in your lives that say they support you, but they actually don't. They don't really care about what you're doing. They don't really care about the clothing you've dropped or the business you've started or the achievements you've had. They just say they do. I get it. If you want to be successful, be your own fucking support system. Hold yourself up. Cheerlead for yourself. You don't need your mom or your dad or your brothers or your sisters or your fucking acquaintances around you telling you that you're going to be something. You can be without their fucking words. You can make it happen. You don't need anybody pushing you. I was alone for a long fucking time. A long time. I also know what it's like to have a family that doesn't actually support you. Growing up in my household was violent and loud as shit. Everybody wanted to yell all the time. Everything led to fucking violence. Everything led to anger. There was no other emotions. There reached a point when I was a kid where I couldn't deal with it anymore. So it was half of I didn't have anybody and it was half of I put myself in that situation by forcing myself out of a negative situation where I felt alone. I didn't have anybody supporting me. I didn't have anybody cheerleading for me. I didn't have anybody telling me that I was going to be something good. I didn't have anybody tell me I was going to be successful. There's multiple times where I can remember specifically getting in an argument with my family and my mother literally looking me in the eyes and saying, I wish you would be more like this kid. I know you don't have a support system and I'm here to tell you, you don't fucking need one. And honestly, it wasn't until I found fitness and I surrounded myself with other individuals that were trying to better their own lives through fitness that I found my support system. You see, it's going to take a long fucking time for you to be able to find people that might believe in you. But until then, you got to embrace loneliness, figure out who the fuck you are without anybody else, and become your own cheerleader. I grew up in a trailer that was 800 square feet on 153 acres of land. All right, we had nothing. We were broke as shit. And now, I live in a 5,000 square foot house on the top of the mountain in West Kelowna, British Columbia. I own a 20,000 square foot gym. I'm married. I have a beautiful son. I drive a brand new Audi R8. My life is fucking good. And I didn't have a support system. Your excuse is invalid, and I don't want to hear it anymore. I'm sick of listening to it. It's bullshit. Again, I can't even tell you guys how many individuals I talk to on a daily basis that do not enjoy their situation. They don't like their life. And they chalk it up to, I don't have the support in order to push me on a daily basis, so I don't have the motivation to go, etc. And it makes no fucking sense to me. Be your own support system. Trigger discipline by pissing yourself off. That's what I did. Alright, I hated my living situation. I hated my old job. I hated how I looked in the mirror. So I pissed myself off by paying attention to those things and hyper-focusing on them. If you're lacking motivation, go look in the fucking mirror. That's your motivation to work on your fitness goals. I don't need the fucking butt taps. All right, I don't need the kudos from individuals around me. I'm running this shit. 
When I did something good, I'd go look in the fucking mirror and be like, homie, I'm proud of you. I didn't look outwards for somebody to pat me on the butt. When I did something that I considered grand, that I considered a fucking feat that needed to be celebrated, I would go look in the fucking mirror and be like, I'm proud of you, dog. I'd sit down, I'd write on my phone, write on my fucking notebook. These are my affirmations, my gratefuls. I'm grateful that I support myself, that I've created this fucking life that I currently live. And I'm not saying I'm self-made. That is not the fucking case here. I have multiple individuals that have helped me along this journey. I have multiple individuals that have inspired me, pushed me, helped me. But I have been my biggest cheerleader, all right? Even to this day, today, I don't get the fucking cheerleading from people. And I'm not here whining that I don't get it. I'm here to tell you the reason why is because I am my biggest cheerleader and I don't fucking need it from anybody else. Then I utilize that emotion, that anger, that frustration to discipline myself around habits that were going to help me change my fucking life. And you need to do the same. It's time to wake up. It's time to take advantage of life's opportunities and step into your fucking power you guys want success in life but you keep continuing to wait for the right fucking time i'm not ready yet i need to wait until this date i'm not ready yet i'll get started next week i'm not ready yet what the fuck are you waiting for when are you gonna feel ready don't be intimidated by the fucking journey so much that you don't start in the fucking first place because eventually you will wake up and regret your entire life because you'll be 90 sitting in your fucking deathbed getting angry at yourself because you always said I was waiting for the right fucking time. Stop playing this fucking game. A lot of you guys are broke, overweight, and unsuccessful because you keep saying I'm not ready. Well, when the fuck are you gonna be ready? When is the time? What's the date? You guys just keep putting it off and eventually you're just going to fucking die never taking action because you kept saying I was going to try to wait for the right fucking time. Draw the line in the fucking sand. What kind of game are we playing right now? We ain't about the bitch shit here. We're about pushing fucking harder. All right, there's an answer for any fucking excuse you might have in your goddamn life. I do not care what it is. Shut the fuck up. Cut them the fuck out and get to work if you actually want success, period. This is real life. You are unsuccessful, overweight, broke, sad, depressed because of your fucking excuses. And until you cut them out, you will remain the individual that you do not love. You wanna start loving yourself? Stop filling your fucking mind full of bullshit when nobody and nothing fucking cares. Shut up, stop making excuses, and focus on what you can control. Let this shit sink in for a second because a lot of you guys are missing the fucking mark. A lot of you are unsuccessful because you are blaming external factors. You are blaming other individual circumstances. If you wanna see success in your fucking life, you gotta stop comparing your life to somebody else's. They might have had it easier than you, but nobody fucking cares and your goals definitely don't. You need to put the work in and find a path to success anyways, because just bitching and getting mad that they had it easier than you did is not going to get you to the end goal in the fucking first place. The biggest success killing mistake that you can make is utilizing excuses on a daily basis. Guys, excuses don't give a fuck about your fuck ups. Excuses also don't give a fuck about your goals. You need to make a decision at some point in your fucking life. You're tired, go to bed earlier. Stop bitching that you're tired and that's why you can't work on your goals. All right, you're out of shape, go to the fucking gym or work out at home. Stop making fucking excuses. You guys can literally get exercise in no matter what, no matter where you are, no matter how much time you have in the day, fucking period. All right, you don't have time, you're struggling with time, stop watching Netflix, get off your fucking phone. Stop spending so much fucking time on bullshit stuff. What the fuck kind of game are we playing here? This is a thing that you guys do on a continual basis. Blaming external factors. You guys will see other individuals see success and you'll be like, they have good genetics, they had a better childhood than me, they got lucky, they hit the lottery, they had help. Even more fucking excuses. Focus on what you can control. Stop blaming external factors. You will never get anywhere by blaming things that you cannot control. 
So many of you guys are unsuccessful because you keep putting shit off until tomorrow and or till the day you fucking die. Stop making fucking excuses. It's time to take action. I'm not saying you're gonna be successful tomorrow. It might take you fucking years. But that's not a reason not to fucking start. You need to embrace you. Utilize the knowledge that you actually have. Stop trying to act like something you aren't to impress individuals that you don't fucking know. Stop this fake it to make it bullshit. Wake up, speak your authentic voice. This is why I curse the way that I do, because it's who I am. If you want to grow as an individual, you need to be yourself. If you want to grow as an individual, you need to be yourself. Stop trying to be like someone else to impress individuals that you don't even fucking know. It's not going to get you anywhere. All it's going to do is make you resent the persona that you've put onto the goddamn world. And eventually you're going to burn out and crash, lose passion for the thing that you are currently pursuing and give up on your dreams. Be you. Be yourself. Embrace who you fucking are. Fuck this fake it to make it bullshit. Fake it to make it bullshit does not work in today's day and age. You guys got to start being authentic. Be yourself. Embrace your uniqueness. No more of this fucking game. A lot of you guys fuck up the progress you're making in life due to cheap dopamine. You lean into porn, food, drugs, alcohol, video games, weed, etc. And it's because you don't have any goddamn discipline. You lean into these vices, all right? These addictive traits, addictive things. I know too many people who fucked up their brain and their body. They fucked up their progress, their dreams, their success, their momentum due to cheap dopamine. And it destroys your motivation. It destroys your motivation to better your situation. You lean into this cheap dopamine and it stops you from getting anywhere in life. It stops you from being able to grow. Stop leaning into these things that are giving you a spike of cheap dopamine and focus on the goals at hand so you can achieve a better fucking life. Step into your fucking power. Don't let cheap dopamine cost you a rich future. Look at the people you surround yourself with. Take a second and look at them. Are they pushing you forward or are they holding you back? The people you spend time with will affect your thoughts, actions, and results in life. They will affect the distance that you are able to travel in this fucking lifetime. The hard pill to swallow in today's day and age is not everybody who comes into our life is actually meant to be there for a prolonged period of time. A lot of individuals we need to let go of if we want to grow. Those friends from high school that you continuously talk to, are they doing anything to actually help you in life? Or are they still talking about the conversations and things they experienced in high school 10 years ago? Let go of the fucking past if you want to grow. Because the past will blind you to the future potential you have if you overfocus on it. Fuck the shit in high school. Fuck those old experiences. Let them go. Focus on your future if you want to grow. And it might be hard to cut out those friends and family members that are always hyper fixated on negativity in the past, but it is necessary sometimes if you want to grow into the individual you've always wanted to become. This is a big, big, big downfall for a lot of you. You want to see success on your social media. You want to see success in your fitness goals. You want to see success in your business. You want to improve your relationship, but you guys think you know everything. Ego is one of the main killers of success in this goddamn world because a lot of you guys will not let go of the fucking ego in order to level up into the individual you've always wanted to become. Close your fucking mouth, open your goddamn ears, and listen. There's so many different ways to expand your knowledge on a continual basis. And a lot of you guys are not where you want to be in life because you think you know everything. You also think you need to be perfect. You don't need to be perfect in order to see success. You just need to be fucking real. You need to be yourself. You also need to be open to learning more and open to fucking failing. Failure is a path to success because it teaches you things. If you want success, you gotta do the opposite of those things. 
Stop making fucking excuses. Take responsibility for your fucking actions in life. Make the fucking time. Take action today. Stop trying to be like somebody else and be your fucking authentic self. Stop leaning in to cheap dopamine. All right? Embrace discipline. Cut out the negative motherfuckers in your goddamn life and embrace the fact that you do not know everything and you can learn from everyone. If I'm expanding my knowledge and taking inspiration and knowledge from other fucking people on a continual basis because I see myself as a small fucking fish, then why aren't you? Why aren't you? Stop making these fucking mistakes if you want to grow into the individual you've always dreamed of becoming.